Kyle, you going for gold? Yeah, you know, um, we've, we've always had a position in gold. When you think about the largest central banks in the world, they've all moved to an unlimited printing uh, ideology, right? Monetary policy happens to be the only game in town. I'm, I'm perplexed as to why gold is as low as it is, but uh, I don't have a great answer for you other than you should maintain a position. George Soros told the China Morning Post either last night or the night before that he'd lost interest in gold because it, it proved in the most recent... I believe Cyprus episode of the European crisis not to be uh, not to perform the way that he anticipated mm. and as a result it's sort of lost its luster for him yeah well George has been a much better investor than I over the years but um, I would he's been at it for longer yeah yeah <laughs> and I I think that um, I think that it look when you think about the global monetary base uh, as Andrew just alluded to the global monetary base you know is north of 70 trillion all the gold in existence is around seven or eight trillion there might be a trillion Two trillion three of investable gold. Uh, you know, at some point in time, I'd much rather own gold than paper. I just don't know when that time is. And you feel at all times you just have to have a presence in gold. It's just a matter of listen. If you're going to be if you're going to be invested across asset classes, you simply need to have something there. No, I just think they can't print any more of it. You know, they can make they can mine some more, but they can't print it at the rate the central banks are printing. I just view gold as another currency. It's that simple. I don't view it as a commodity. If you're thinking way. about gold as a currency and we're in this flight to quality safe haven mode, do you want to own gold rather than US Treasuries? I do. But you know, if if look, if something like happens in Japan like we think it's going to happen, I think US Treasury nominal <laughs> yields will go negative in a flight to quality. So maybe gold moves up. Treasuries actually get a much stronger for all of the wrong reasons, not as endorsement of U.S. fiscal policy because it's the only place money has to go. But isn't the market doing well across the board for all of the wrong reasons? It's all about central bank intervention. Fundamentally, if you look at the macroeconomic environment, things look horrible. Yeah, I mean, look, if monetary policy is the only game in town, then we're all in for a world of trouble. And, and that's, you know, that's the way we see it.